All right, I've been taking a lot of heat for my this, things that I'm saying about this particular head here. Now, if you look at this very carefully, you can see obviously there's a, a distinct line here, and that was obviously in a mold of some sort, and, and, and that was the dividing line. Now, look at this very carefully. These are the impression of a giant's hand. This thing's like five feet tall, um, or somewhere in that area. And he had his hand wrapped around there, and his fingers were in up here on the top. And I made one of these, and it came out very virtually the same. It only took a couple seconds to make it. Um, and I would assume that all this stuff was made that way. Now, that's point number one. Now, point number two is that I've been heavily criticized for saying that this is manna um, tailings, which is particulates of manna that when they when they process manna which is monatomic gold they have to extract the gold and all the platinum group metals from the aggregate which is I have a paper on this and I'll show you some evidence right in a second here but they need to extract all of those minerals and they do that by completely crushing this stuff and when they're done they got all this excellent stuff and that's what the cart ruts are made from and those fancy walls that are all pushed together and they look perfect this is this hand prints in there too there's a lot of people have these things not just me and it's just not just this they're all over the place and it's just being um, overlooked now this is not basalt I'm being told oh, it's basalt I know it's basalt and I know the whole area no it's not basalt this is not basalt in any manner whatsoever this is granite what they call granite and and in this and I'm saying granite is not always granite granite is a, a material that sits right next to mineralized zones that have all these metals in it and they, and they are um, crystal zones, they crystallize and then you end up with this sitting right next to it, this kind of particulates or next to it in granite and it eventually uh, hardens and, and petrifies and, and, and turns a stone but every grain is very very easily seen and I'm going to show you that in a second this basalt is a, is a tiny little crystals and I'll show you that the chemistry is totally different it's it's just totally ignored uh, if anybody's looking at it they're ignoring it because it's it's just it's just it's obvious so anyway I'm going to show you what I made and just look at these this is the guy's hand he's, he's wrapped his hand around it he's that's it. I'll show you what I did. No. Uh, I'm going to show you the chemistry now. Hold on a second. Alright, you saw the man ahead. Now, what would happen, you just take a glob like this, you put it in the mold where the head face was, you're going to press it down like this, and this is exactly what you're going to get. Alright, there's the pattern. You're going to see that same pattern. Exactly identical. And, you know, he may push his fingers down in here like this, like that, and then do this. But however he did it, you get this ring around the outside, which he's got the head is sticking off here, and the fingers are there. And that exact architecture is there. This, do it one more time. He takes a glob, goes in here, pushes down like this. Maybe does one of those, and then pushes hard. And you see what's happening between my fingers? That's exactly what you're going to see in that other pattern. That's all there is to it. All right, if you go to mudfossils.com, uh, there's all kinds of stuff up there. And these, this will be up there soon. I, I'm behind on some things. But this is a paper about granite and basalt. And granite... <laughs> has no metals. All right? A worldwide average chemical of granite, da, 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 da. silicon, it's got a little bit of alumina, uh, and there's no metals in here. There's no, there's none of the metals that they extract for manna. Now what I'm saying here is why is there no metals in granite? All of the other stuff is exactly the same stuff that is in the orogenies. You see, the, the granite formations are, are next to intrusive granite is often found next to orogenies. What are orogenies? Well, they're mineralized zone. That means that they not only have all of the stuff here, 
they have all the gold and platinum and they have it in large quantities orogenic mineral systems unites a diverse group of mineral deposits that form during orogenesis and include load gold and cobar type copper uh, gold you know all this stuff zinc all right these are all missing from granite they're all gone and granite is all crushed up the same rock it's all crushed into little big pieces i mean it's pretty obvious what's happened there to me these deposits form in response to major orogenic events caused by accretion in subduction zones and they contain metals and lots of gold and then next to these is the granite and that has no gold and that's what these people were here doing and then they built gigantic structures that we all think that they just had to carve them out of solid stone no the stone is now a product of the manna all right pay close attention to this Basalt, which I'm being told this stuff is, and it is not, it's nowhere is even close. Basalt is a dark colored, fine grained igneous rock composed mainly of plagioclase and pyroxene minerals. It most commonly forms as an extrusive rock, such as lava flow, but can also form in small intrusive bodies, such as in igneous dikes or thin sills. Basalt is commonly very fine grained, very fine grained not what you saw on that head and not what you see in, in any granites very fine grain and it is nearly impossible to see individual minerals without magnification now what is granite totally different granite is an intrusive well is intrusive usually and results in a coarse textured rock in which individual mineral grains are easily visible and they're they're good size they're not little tiny things they're not like sand grains, they're, they're little pebbles, tiny little things. But they're, they're small, but they're not sandish. The grains are quite large compared to basalt crystals. These granite intrusions are often located next to what? Orogenic mineral systems, where all the gold is. Well, obviously, because you've got to get the gold out. Granite is amorphous and granular. Lots of little chunks squished and bonded together. And we can see that in that head that you saw, it was obviously set up quickly because it, the guy couldn't fin get back to finish it fast enough, so it turned into scrap. Looks like to me. Could be some other reason, but that's what it looks like. Now, so we know that they're using this as putty, like concrete and putty. That's all I can say. All right, this is granite. You can obviously see all the different little pieces and parts to it. And if you look at this, you know, each one of these is in each each one of these is a, is a piece that was crushed together. And if you look at this closely with a, a microscope, which I have, there's little tiny cracks in all of these between every single piece. They're just they're crushed together, they're well held together, they're solid, but they're very porous. And that is what you expect from a uh, amorphous, crushed together, particulate type of stone. Now, on the other hand, the um, this is basalt, and basalt is totally different. These are the tiniest little grains. There's little porous little holes in here and things from air holes and things. But this is the, the, totally different material. Absolutely, totally different. 